Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Imagination Tech. So today I just want to show you how to do the basic operations on your Beta FPV Light Radio 2. So um, I believe the Beta FPV Light Radio 2 SE is a little bit similar, but uh, do check the F Beta FPV website for the manual uh, just to be sure. Uh, I think uh, the Beta FPV Light Radio 2 SE, um, you can calibrate your joysticks um, without having to connect your, uh, your radio to OpenTX on your computer. So first, uh, turning on the radio, uh, you just need to push on. Uh, push and hold on the power button for around four seconds. It's going to vibrate twice and If your throttle, uh, throttle stick isn't set to the bottom uh, or on the lowest position, it's going to appear red But just move it down and it should have a solid blue color Now, If you're connecting this to your computer uh, via simulator and to play a simulator You want it to be in this state before plugging it into USB all right, so there are, there is a bind button at the back, um, and uh, that that was the, that is what you're going to use if you want to bind it to your uh, to your quad. But first, uh, let me tell you that the, this uh, Beta FPV Light Radio 2 has uh, th three modes of uh, three protocols actually, uh, but all, it's all free, free sky, but three variants of free sky. So they have the free sky FCC. FreeSky uh, LBT and uh, D8 mode. So the first two, uh, FreeSky D16 FCC and uh, FreeSky D16 LBT, and then the third one is FreeSky D8 mode. So first, um, if you want to switch uh, switch between those modes, uh, first you have to have your radio off, which you just uh, hold your power button again for around four or five seconds, and it's just going to vibrate once and turn off. To change the mode on your light radio too, uh, you just need to hold onto the bind button here on the back. And while it's while you're holding it, you press on the power button until it turns on, and then you should see some red flashing. It's hard to see uh, here on the camera. It's even hard to see, um, you know, in real life. But uh, you will see it, you know, at an angle. Um, and the number of uh, of red uh, blinks indicates what mode you're in. So if you get three blinks, it means that uh, your radio is uh, set to D8. So if you want to change the mode, uh, you have to do it all over again. So you turn your power, your uh, ra radio off again, just by holding uh, the power button, and then you do it again. Uh, you hold on the bind button, you press uh, on the power button until it turns on, and then uh, you know you count the number of uh, red blinks, and that'll tell you what mode it's uh, it's now set to. So before plugging this into your computer, you need to first hold the power button on to turn it on. Now you can just plug this in. So first you need to open your start menu and then go to click on this gear icon and click on settings and then open up devices and you should see a beta FPV Tyrannix joystick over here. Now we also need to open up our device manager. You can do that by clicking on Windows button again and then pressing Win X and just click on device manager. Now here under device manager you should if you see uh, an item here called Live USB Win32 Devices and you expand that, you can see a better USB HS uh, item over here. Just need to up, uh, right click and then click on Update Driver. Browse my computer for drivers and let me pick from a list of available uh, blah blah. Just click on USB Input Device and then click Next. So it's, it's going to close quickly and now you should not see the live USB 32 device. Instead you would see this USB input device. Okay, so uh, if you also um, just type in joystick and just click on the setup USB game controllers, you should see now uh, an item here uh, called Free Sky Tyrannus Joystick and has a uh, status of OK. You can just uh, check if your, uh, you know, if your sticks are moving, if your switches are switching. So everything seems to be in order. You can just click exit on that, and you can then now just uh, run your favorite uh, simulator. And here you should see, uh, you know, uh, you should see this uh, controller moving 
corresponding to uh, your stick inputs. Now it's not, it doesn't seem to be working correctly right now. You have to calibrate this. Okay, so start calibration. Okay, so center all sticks. And then you just assign that axis throttle. Center that again. Assign the pitch. And roll. And finally, yaw. So after that, your sticks should now be moving in the same direction as your uh, your actual controller. To bind your quad to the Light Radio 2, you first need to put your uh, your quad or your whoop into bind mode. So uh, let me just do, do that first. So I believe uh, my Mobile 6 is already in uh, uh, in bind mode, and then you just need to while powered on, you just need to press on the bind button once, and this thing is going to beep. Uh, a couple of times uh, for 10 seconds uh, and uh, it's going to supposedly it's going to arm uh, it's going to bind with your uh, with your quad to test if you've successfully bound your light radio to your uh, to your whoop or your quad uh, you can just go connect it to your computer and uh, to run beta flight and then go to the receiver tab I, I have a video about uh, setting up your receiver in beta flight so do check that out I'll put a link in the description below so right now the first thing I observe is that when I'm uh, moving my throttle stick it's actually changing the pitch uh, and that's because of the channel map so let's try uh, changing this channel map it might be AETR I forgot uh, but uh, let me just try that and click save so right now, um, by changing the th channel map to AETR, uh, my throttle, pitch, and roll is now corresponding to the correct uh, axis. So when I move my throttle up, it, uh, my left stick up, it uh, increases throttle. Uh, the left stick left and right changes yaw. Right stick uh, left and right is roll, and right stick up and down is pitch. So now we're good to go. Um, let's check our switches they seem to be good to go as well so we just need to check uh, our modes in modes tab to see uh, what we've set here yep so aux 3 is beeper aux 4 is turtle mode aux 2 is just uh, the angle or horizon mode or acro mode and aux 1 is for arming so now that we've successfully bound our light radio 2 to our quad we can now give this a test uh, we've also checked this in beta flight and uh, the aux channels are marked here at the top so SA is for obviously for aux 1, SB is for 2, 3 is C and 4 is D. Right so arm, it's arming and let's just check if we're in the right mode. Oops! There you go. Right so um, that is going to be it for this quick uh, quick guide on how to use your uh, Beta FPV Light Radio 2. So if this video has been useful to you, make sure you click on that like button and make sure you're subscribed to, do, to my channel as well because I do put out a lot of videos. And um, yeah, if you appreciate what I do here, um, I also have a coffee link down below and a Patreon link as well. So, um, you know, that's up to you. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, as always, keep building and keep flying. I'm so